Not only did Rhaenyra have Vaemon killed and fed to her dragon, and most of Corlys' nephews severely punished by the king on her behalf, but also her first husband Laenor died a very sketchy death, at a very convenient time, not long after Lena died in childbirth. Then, the spouses of both Valerion children married each other, indecently soon afterwards, almost as if they had everything arranged. And yet, Corlys and his wife decided to support the Black Faction. Why is that? Hello everyone, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. One answer might be, despite appearances, they had no reasons to doubt the legitimacy of their grandsons. In the book, it is not confirmed that Rhaenyra's sons were indeed bastards, yes, they had dark hair and dark eyes, and looked nothing like either of their parents. But Laenor's mother Rhaenys was part Baratheon and had black hair, also, Rhaenyra's maternal grandfather was an Aaron. Both parents were carrying some strong non-Targaryen genes, so it is very possible that the strong boys were simply unlucky enough to inherit these non-Targaryen traits, which made people talk. And yet, Laenor insisted since boy number one to name one of them Joffrey, like his dead lover, why do that, if they were not his sons? Corlys too insisted to name them Lucerys and Jace, two very traditional Valerian names, again, why do that, if they were not his grandsons? Both Laenor and Corlys seem to accept the boys as their own, which means, well, they are not really bastards, because otherwise it doesn't make much sense. Another answer might be, they were actually rooting for Bela and Reyna, their absolutely legitimate granddaughters. But Bela and Reyna had Daemon for a father, so Corlys couldn't just support the other team, thus putting the girls in danger. And a third version of an answer is that Corlys was secretly happy Rhaenyra got him rid of his greedy nephews, who were willing to grab his status and inheritance before he was even dead. Also, he had always known what his son was, and didn't like it. Let's face it, for a feudal lord, to have an only son who is gay is a handicap, it means his line is over. So, he was actually relieved that Rhaenyra, who was part Valerion herself, was claiming so fiercely that her strong boys were Valerions, and that Laenor had died. After all, the boys were handsome, well-raised and well-behaved, and Corlys could take pride in them, even if they were not of his blood, because history doesn't remember blood, it remembers names. Also, the elder boys were engaged to Lena's daughters, so the bloodline was safe. Thus being said, it's only natural that he supported the black faction, if one of the strong boys were to be king, then one of Lena's daughters would be queen, so Grandpa Corlys was expected to be right there beside them, and have the Valerion name connected to the Iron Throne once more, just like he wanted. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.